McDonald's. I wanted to try it out if it's really true what they show on YouTube like a hamburger they kept for years and it's still okay you know. So I kept them for two months. McDonald's, a Big Mac. Big Mac, which is a hamburger. So, what do you think? Let's have a look. Yeah. Wow, oh, looks okay, yeah? Look at it. Two months old. Yeah. yeah. Well, the package, I had it in my backpack for three days, so it's a bit, uh, yeah. But it's two months old. Look at it. Look at it. It's intact, you know? It's a bit hard. Look. Hello, anybody there? So, this is reptilian food, you know? I don't know, to make reptilians out of us or whatever, it's all genetically manipulated. What about this one, the hamburger? Look. Oh, it looks nice. It's a bit hard though. Yeah, look. So you can see it's two months old, eh? So, you think this is good for you? I don't think so. It's the same, you know, chemtrails and everything, they want to destroy the nature, the creation or whatever, whatever you believe in, they want to destroy it. Doing a good job, if you see all the people, you know, going to McDonald's and eat this reptilian food, it's probably good for reptilians, or extraterrestrials, I mean, this is not healthy, you know, a piece of bread like, like plastic. Or like the uh, the package, you know, the uh, the hardboard here. It it, it does it, it it doesn't get ruined, you know. It's not rotten. It should be all over rotten. There's a little bit. Well, don't eat it. I'm telling you the truth. It's two months old and it's still intact. You could eat it, you know. Reptilian food, McDonald's. And so many people eat that with their families, and you get you get bombarded with uh, with wheeling Wi-Fi. Uh, you get the whole package there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't eat it. So, two months old shouldn't be like this. This is not the creation. This is not the nature. It's not even the evolution. It's nothing. It's reptilian extraterrestrial food, genetically manipulated, it's like plastic. Um, don't eat it. And you can see it's genetically manipulated, otherwise it would rot. So the question is, if they can do this, which is really a hard job, you know, to not make it rot. My question is, what else have they genetically manipulated with this so it's not fertile anymore so who else does it make infertile think of all the people who have to go to a doctor to make a baby and then in a couple of years there's so many people in the western world they have no more sperms they can't have a baby anymore so in some years you know we all have to through this really through this kids Babies, children, you know, young people going to McDonald's with their parents. Um, we have to go to the um, to fill in a triple form to the pharaohs. Please, I've been working for 20 years and we want to have one little baby, like in China, you know. So we filled in this triple form, we have enough money, but you know, we don't have the balls anymore to do it. So please. Um, can we have some sperms, you know? So of course, you know, can we please go to the doctor, you know, the Freemason doctor. So, and whose, whose sperms they're going to finally put in there, you know? Well, not ours, not the fathers of the Pharaoh. And this is what the wars are all about, you know? You kill the man and their off male offspring, and you keep the women, you make children with them. And they are so intelligent, they're so superior, you know. So please don't, you know, um, uh, don't judge people by their kindness, you know, because there are kind people who are very evil. But there are unkind people 
are very good. For many I am an unkind people because I speak out, but I tell you I'm just. See what I mean? And there's some nice Swissies, you know, they smile to the world, how neutral and clean they are, like the devil themselves. And they are bad. I tell you, they are bad. Swissy is bad. Pharaoh is bad. The aristocracy. This is all the aristocracy. It's even red and white. The pharaonic colors of the red is, the, is uh, Lower Egypt, the Pertasser. The, the red house and white is the white house, the per head or upper Egypt. See my film about it. So the killing is the killing is all. And we're all so happy. McDonald's, look at the video, you know, same time and you know um, get shagged afterwards after a video and before you know it the day is over, you know. Nice quick day, eh? quick life so fight <coughs> stand up and after you work the whole day for Pharaoh and then had this reptilian dinner and then watch some pharaonic Hollywood videos Hollywood with an obelisk in it as always and showing the white house you know you're gonna have a shag and before you know it, the day is over you know but remind yourselves if you have that shag you don't even have any more sperms no sperms so have fun humanity have fun